yes. Okay, let me share the screen. Okay, let's go here. Can you see my presentation, right? Yes. Not yet. Okay, we have to wait. No? Not yet. Okay, okay. We have to wait. Not, not yet. Okay. So not today, yet, okay. of course, our topic for today is dental instruments. I have a question for you. What are some useful tools for dentists? Can you mention some of them? The tools, uh, hand piece and scalar, uh, uh -huh. low piece. Um, for example, uh, what tool. is what is a um, hand piece function? Do you know? What is the purpose? Uh, it's for treat to, uh, to treat a, a cavity. Ah, very uh, interesting. What a... we make uh, preparations mm -hmm. uh, for the for the next crown. Okay. Um, also, I, I can see the. Uh, I can measure the the occlusion. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Well, that, that is the, uh, the, the main that purpose. Is the that is the main the main purpose. Okay, so for example, when you refer to a treatment, when you refer to a treatment, uh, I want you to say I perform. Okay, I perform a surgery, for example. I perform. So let me show you something. Dentists use tools to examine teeth and others to the work inside the mouth. You know this. Do you know curettes? Mm -hmm. Curettes, uh, no, burnishers. Curettes? No, you you never use curettes. Burnishers, excavators, no. and chisels are very useful. Curettes. These are curettes. This is a curate. Look at this. Curette. 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 Uh -huh. I don't know how do we call yeah, this in yeah. Spanish. This is curette. And this is the burnisher. Yeah. The burnisher. Burnishers. Like uh, pulidor. In Spanish, we would say burnisher. This is the curette. Question mm. number two. Oh, tell me, tell me. You don't use a curette. No, I don't use it. Uh, of no, a curette. And I Burnish. use it. I use them, but the uh, polish shirt, the uh, brand brand shirt. Uh huh. I have another, another, uh, another I have one. A, a lot of um, uh, a kit of of polish. Ah, we have a different one. Look at this. This is the excavator. Yes. We have like in different sizes. This is that retractory something that you put inside your mouth. Then we have here mm -hmm. the syringe, the mirror. This is the plugger. Look at the plugger. This is the prof, excavator, curette, elevator, and chisel. So these are supplies, dental supplies that you may know because you're a dentist, of course. Maybe you use different ones, right? Yes, let's continue. Mm, yes. Okay, so here we have, uh, uh, this is like a, this is like a, a budget of some dental supplies. Look at this. Dental mirror, simple stem, seven dollars or twenty two point fifty for a pack of six. It's just like you have six them, six of them for twenty two point point five. See props, single ended, eight dollars. A tractor, aspirating syringe, burst, double ended excavator, double ended burnishers, pluggers, curettes. Forceps, elevators, chisel, and handpiece. Or you, you said drills, right? You're drilling. So here we have some questions. Yes, according, to this, been... according to this information, I want you to answer these questions. So for example, what is similar about dental mirrors and birds? Do you know what birds are? Mm, I don't know what is. Let me show you some pictures. Dental burrs. Look at this. Uh, let me show you. This is a dental burrs. 
then shapes of ah, dental okay. verbs. These are verbs, okay? Verbs. But okay. then we have the dental mirror. Look at the dental mirror. I know what it is. Ah, you, you know what it is. This is the dental mirror. The mirror. Uh -huh. yeah, to examine, examine so, the, the mouth. Examine the mouth, of course. And what is similar about dental mirror and birds? They both come in different shapes. They both come in, in packs. But according to the according to the reading, they are same the same price. Both come in various sizes. What do you think? We have birds, and then we have dental mirrors here. Uh, so both yeah they both come in packs of six mm -hmm. which of the following does not come in different sizes the retractors elevators excavators or seat props mm -hmm. what is seat props the props is like seat props a... what is this is a prop. Let me show you the picture. This is the prop. C prop. Mm. What is the answer? Okay. What is not? Uh, that last one. The last one, elevators. Okay. Oh, C prop. So, uh, oh, okay, C prop, because it says elevators, various sizes, of course. And then we have single ended. Okay, it could be. What can be inferred about the forceps? Do you use forceps when you work? Yeah, when I have to pull out the, the teeth. When you have to pull out the teeth. So what can be inferred about the forceps? Then they need several types. Uh, they are cheaper when buying several together. They are made of stainless steel or they are available in pack of six. I don't know if uh, cheaper. Uh, of course, uh, but focus on this part. It says, it says different models for molar, so the dentist in different types. Yeah, I know the different types. Okay, cheaper, so let's check. One, but, uh, let's check the answers. B, um, B, A, A. Uh, congratulations. B, A, A. Do you have any questions up to this point? No, right? No, no. Remember that when we have single-ended, it means no. that it is just one. For example, look at this, single-ended. But imagine that we have here something here, and then we have something here. This is double-ended. Okay? Nice. Okay, vocabulary. So, Denise, a tool for extracting teeth. Extracted. You know, you, you extract it. So, what is a tool for extracting teeth? Syringe, handpiece, retractor, elevator, curette, plugger, mirror, or forceps? Forceps. Okay. It could be forceps. A tool, forceps. For, a tool for making holes in teeth. You, you make holes. Mm -hmm. A handpiece. The handpiece, a tool that'll help dentists see inside the mouth. The mirror. The mirror. A tool for plugging nerve canals after the nerve is extracted. Mm, plugger. The plugger. Okay, it could be. A tool for cleaning between the teeth and under the gum line. Curette? Yes, a curette. Is that it? Curette, no? Curette. Yeah, curette, yes, we say curette. This is pronunciation, of course. Um, a tool for loosening or separating teeth. Mm. Elevator. Elevator. A tool fitted with a needle to push liquid into the body. Uh, syringe. syringe. Of course. A syringe. Jeringa, yes, of course. 
No, the pronunciation. Ah, syringe. 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 Yes. El, el okay. needle. Syringe. With a needle is like la aguja. Syringe is mm. todo la jeringa. Needle, la aguja. Remember that you push liquid into the body. And a tool that pulls part of mouth away to improve access. Da? The retractor. The retractor, of course. This is the retractor. Let's check the answers. Maybe we made some mistakes. Number one, G. Number two, B. Number three, H. Look at this. Number four, F. Number five, E, D, C, A. Congratulations. That was perfect. No questions, right? No questions? No. No, nah, let's continue. No. Fill in the blanks with a correct word. You have drill, proof, bird, excavator, furniture, and chisel. Okay? So the dentist use that to make the surface smooth. Surface smooth like lisa. Surface superficie. What do we use? Uh, surface is smooth. It's smooth. It's smooth, is... it's smooth is like liso. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, it could be um, suave. The burnisher. Okay. A neck shaped was fitted into the handpiece. A neck shaped what? Uh, bird. Bird, of course. Dr. Robinson used our anas uh, to separate the animal from the tooth. Do you know? The animal? Animal, of course. Animal is como el, el esmalte. El esmalte. El esmalte dental? The animal from the tooth. Mm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that we can do that. Uh, oh, separate, okay. Or to separate to drill, the animal. To drill the animal. It could be. I can drill the animal. And you can drill the animal. I... Okay, let's skip. Let's skip, then can come back. It's used to remove. I, I can separate the animal. Uh-huh. Ah, you can. But let, let's this we can Google it. Number four. Was used to remove the soft tissue and decay. The soft tissue. What do you think? Uh the drill. Hand the piece. drill. The hand drill. Piece or drill. Ah, the hand the, the hand piece. The hand piece. The dentist used that mm -hmm. to yeah. feel around the okay. patient's mouth. To feel. What do you think? What is pro? This is pro. It's like um, this is last this in common garfio tiene el pro. Let, let me show mm. you pictures. Let me show you the pictures here. Look at this is the pro. This is the excavator. It's like bigger than the proof and it has something here, like a claw. This is the curette. This is the elevator and this is the chisel. Or cincel. Let's continue. Okay. Many, many, many patients hate the sound and vibrations of the, of the what? And the reason of the trail because it's it, it makes some noise. And what about here? The dentist used to feel around the patient's mouth. You say no, to do okay. that. Uh, the floor, the floor uh, excavator. Ah, the floor is excavator. Well, yeah, it could be hand piece, but also excavator. Okay, let me do this. A soft right. tissue. Okay. Um, dentist use. Um, to separate animal yeah. from the tooth. Yeah. I have to... Um... What about number five? The dentist used that to feel around the patient's mouth to do this. 
this is that? I use the, the mirror. Okay, uh, use dental that. mirror. Okay, Let, let's check the answer, maybe the proof, because proof means examinar. I told you. Okay, number one, bird insured, bird. Number three, the chisel. Number four, excavator. Number five, proof and drill. Proof, proof means examinar. Okay. Uh, well, you can use a dental mirror or the but proof. I can, but I can use that instru uh, instrument to to feel around the mouth. Yeah. I, I I use them to feel around the, the teeth, not the mouth, because oh. it's uh, puntiagudo. Ah, yeah, that's true. Okay, maybe yeah, dental that proof. It's not correct. <laughs> okay, let, let me check. Dental proof tool purpose yeah maybe there is a mistake here with the book and we need but to fix that. that is that and uh, i don't feel with that instrument okay let, let me check this it says maybe you are right it says dental proving is done by using a tool called a dental proof to measure the depth of the tooth pocket yes you are right not the, it, mouth. It's not the mouth let's check again it says a periodontal proof is an instrument that she commonly used to dental. It usually long, thin, and blunt, and then its main function is evaluate the depth of pocket surrounding. Yes, you evaluate the tooth. You no, don't evaluate mouth. the mouth. Let's check. That yes. that uh, exercise all have a mistake. Yeah, let me check it out here. It says number. Feel around the patient's mouth, number five, the proof. Yeah, that's true. We got to fix this, right? Because the proof, it's different because, as you said, it's pointed, right? It's pointed. Look at this. Pointed. Yeah, and it can it can hurt the mouth patient, right? The patient's mouth, right? Yes, and also the chisel. The chisel? I use, I use, uh, I use for, uh, to separate the, the bone, to, to cut the bone. Not to cut a... the bone, to cut the bone. Yes. Okay, let's analyze. Let's analyze it. You, of course, you know more than it. Yeah, that's true. What is the purpose of using the dental chisel? Let me share the screen. Yes. Look, uh, for, this is the mirror, right? And and this is, and what is that? The this proof. one. The proof. You you evaluate, you examine the, the, the teeth, right? The teeth, teeth. of the cavities. Yes, but you don't examine, examine the mouth. Yes, you're right. Yes, what are the variation percent dental bone chisel? Yes, you bone chisel. It will remove its shape and smoothing the bony fragments. And and what does it say here? I'm sorry, chisel to separate the enamel to the to the tooth from the tooth. Yes, and you cut like the bone, right? No, I got the one, not the enamel. Oper ah, but we have a different one. We have the oper operative chisel, enamel, and then these effects. It could be, maybe, let me share the screen. So they are made of shaping teeth and restorative tooth treatment procedures that include enamel. So they restore enamel. So thus, the chisel can't separate animal and what is the other word uh, animal from the from the teeth, teeth right or from the tooth from from the tooth yes maybe you're right and we're fine tooth anatomist is instrument chisel are primarily used to cut in animal yes you cut the animal the animal what is the animal for me animal is like look at this yes, yes but you don't cut it or yes what do you think no, I don't use uh, for that purpose. Okay. So maybe this is incorrect. Of maybe course, in because... The past, no? Maybe, maybe in the past, Maybe in the past, because maybe this information maybe. is is very old, right? Uh, and the past could be, but now everything is different. Yes, you're right. So we can fix that part. Let me do that. Next. Listen to the... Listen and read the webpage again. Which tool come in different sizes? in which tools are double-ended. Okay, so you can tell me which tools are double-ended, you know, that are two, 
and the sizes. Let's listen together. Uh, double blended is uh, active part, no? Yes, active part. For example, okay. I use this, but if I have double blended a piece or 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 supply, okay. I use this and this. Let's check it out. Three, two, one. Let me share the audio. Unit five, dental instruments. Exercise five, page 13. Dentiquick, for all your dental supplies. Quick delivery, best prices. Dental mirrors, simple stem, $7 or $22.50 for a pack of six. Mm -hmm. C probes, single ended, $8. Retractors, sharp points, $47, blunt points, $44. Two sizes available. Aspirating syringe, type CW, 1.8 cc. $14.50. Burrs, six pack, rounded or egg shaped, various sizes, from $20. Double ended excavators, various sizes, $8 each or $7 for orders over 12. Double ended burnishers, number 21 slash 22 and 27 slash 29, $10 each. Pluggers, double ended round tips, $9. Stainless steel curettes, double-ended, $9. Extraction forceps, different models for molars, incisors, and anteriors, $25. Elevators, various sizes, $12. Stainless steel chisel, 7-inch, $15.50. Dental hand pieces, drills, various speeds and sizes. Click here to see our range. Okay, so do you remember which tools come in different sizes? Uh, in different sizes. And I curate. Guess? Okay, the curates, of course, they have different sizes. They are ones that are smaller, that are yeah. uh, some that are bigger, of course. What else? The retractor. Yeah, the um, retractor, of course, because every mouth is different, right? Every mouth is different, so you use. Yeah, but I have a question: Do you use you use a different one depending on the patient, or can you like? Uh, yeah, yeah, I uh, we have um different uh for children and different for adults. I have a different one for adults, children. Yes, uh, adults uh, have uh some sizes: small, medium, large. A small, medium, and large. Okay, that's cool. You have the retractor, uh, the curate. And which tools are double-ended? Uh, curate. Curate, of course. A proof. Uh, C the C-proof, of course, the C-proof. What else? Um, the the C-proof, okay, could be. Let's check the answer. The retractors, you mentioned retractors. Uh, the birds, elevators, excavators, and hand pieces come in different sizes. The excavators, burnisher, curettes, and pluggers are double-ended. Okay? Because because I was checking a picture about the, the C-proof or the proof, and it is like a tool that is like this. But you use this part. Am I making a mistake? The C-proof. Yes, like, like the proof. Look at the proof. This is the proof, and but it is just single-ended. Yeah, but... Um, but there is a different one, maybe? Use, uh, the double. Ah, you use double a double-ended double -ended proof. Yeah, because it's different, uh, the point. Ah, the... the, the, the okay. It's more... Uh, probado, probado. Probado proofed? Proofed? Proof also is corvado. Ah, uh, what do you, um, uh, that is like banded, banded, or well, in this case, it's bent, bent. Yes, okay. Um, bander. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, like this is bent cuando tiene curvas o está dobladito. Look at this. The opposite, no, bent. Es, la otra punta es más curvada. 
Ah, uh, or maybe you can say um, the shape is like curve because there is a verb curvado, uh, curve, curvy, curvy. Se escribe curvy, se pronuncia curvy, curvy. Entonces, cur más curvado, curvier? Yes, curvier, I see it like this. Like, no. oh, I'm not right. Curvy, curvy, curvado, más curvado, curvier. Okay, so you say curvy. the other, or the, the other, the other, the other point, or you can say the other end is curvier. La otra punta, porque point también se traduce como punta. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Let's continue. I don't know if the elevator, uh, we have it in, in two, two single-ended. Ah, two, two, uh, no, double-ended or single-ended. Uh, the elevator. Double -ended. This is the, the, ex the, the elevator. You mentioned this, right? Because I think that these tools are like very old because nowadays everything improves. And maybe I would say that some of these uh, dental instruments uh, might change in the during the time, right? Yes. For example, this is the elevator is, is like single-ended, but maybe nowadays we have a different elevator, which is double-ended, right? Like you mentioned, for example, I just I just knew that the proof is single-ended, but you mentioned that you have a one that is double-ended. Yeah, the, uh, the majority of instruments that is proof is double-ended. Is double-ended. Unit five. Let's continue. Listen to the conversation between a customer and a sales representative, okay? So this is like a common conversation, please. Uh, write T for true and F for false. Let's go here. Let me share the audio. Three, two, go. Exercises 6 and 7, page 13. Hi, I'd like to order some dental tools, please. I need them for tomorrow. Sure. Do you have an account with us? Yes, it's Garden Practice Lakeland, account number 241. Okay, so what do you need? 12 excavators and three probes, please. Three probes, did you say? Yes, that's right. No problem. We'll send them out to you today. Do you want to listen again or is everything okay for you? And the first one, the, the number, the um, woman's account number it's is not, it's different. It's different. So this is false. The woman buys 12 proofs? 12? No, three. It was three, right? And the company will send the tools today? Uh, I, did, I didn't listen. Tomorrow? <laughs> Uh, oh, let's listen again. Exercises 6 okay. and 7, page 13. Hi, I'd like to order some dental tools, please. I need them for tomorrow. Sure. Do you have an account with us? Yes, it's Garden Practice Lakeland, account number 241. Okay, so what do you need? 12 excavators and three probes, please. Three probes, did you say? Yes, that's right. No problem. We'll send them out to you today. Okay, so the company will send the tools today? Mm, on Tuesday. On Tuesday. It's not today. No. Exercises 6 and 7, page 3. Yes, the last one is true because look at the first part. It says, let me show you the first part. 7, page 13. Hi, I'd like to order some dental tools, please. I need them for tomorrow. I need them for tomorrow. She said, I need the tools for tomorrow. But in the last part, listen. Say? Yes. The probes, did you say? Yes, that's right. No problem. We'll send them out to you today. We'll send them out to you today. You see? We'll send them out to you today. You see? No. <laughs> okay, again, again, we'll let's listen. Send them. That's right. Ah, we'll send, I mean, you will send the tools but you use the object pronoun, I will send the tools mm -hmm. or I will send them to you today. Ah, I, I heard Tuesday. <laughs> ah, okay. But okay. Let's, let's listen again and now focus on this part. I will send them to you today. Excavators and three probes, please. Three probes, did you say? Yes, that's right. No problem. We'll send them out to you today. We'll send them out to you today. You see? So now let's complete the conversation. Okay, here you have this, uh, the conversation customer and the supplier. 
Tell me. Can you repeat the, the last part is? Send them out. Send, send them out. Send them out. Send them out. To, to use out to to deliver some something? Mm, it could change the meaning, but to be honest, the meaning is the same. You can say send or send them out, but the meaning is the same. It's like, for example, but send means like enviar. Tu envías algo. You send something, right? But send out, le cambio un pelín. It is like, voy a despacharte, voy a enviarte. Mm -hmm. You see? Sending out to you. Send today. out. You, you send something out. You send something out. Te voy a enviar, te voy a despachar. Pero send solito es enviar. Le, le cambio un pelín. Es más para despachar, enviar. Like that. You see? O mandar. You get it? I couldn't hear very well the last part. I, I didn't get it. Okay. Uh, let's listen to the part. Exercises 6 and 7, page 13. Hi, I'd like to order some dental tools, please. I'd like to order some? Dental tools. Dental tools. Dental tools. Let's continue. Please, I need them for tomorrow. Sure. Do you have an account with us? Yes, it's Garden Practice Lakeland. A Do you have? An account. An account. Do you have an account? Okay, do you have an account? Account number 241. Okay, so what do you need? 12 excavators and three probes, please. Exercises six and seven. Okay, so she needs three? Three what? What do you need and three probes, please? What do you need and need three props? Three props. I'm oh, sorry. An account with us? Yes, it's Garden Practice Lakeland. Account number 241. Okay, so what do you need? Twelve excavators and three probes, please. Three probes, did you say? Yes, that's right. What is here? Okay. Did you say three props? Did you say? And then she, that's right. No problem. We'll send them out to you today. Well, we'll uh, send them. Then, uh, I can, I can hear to you. Uh, to you today. Uh, okay, one more time. Yes. Um, I, I, need here, um, I can send it out today. No, I can send it out today, but to you is no. You can you can hear it. Okay, one more time. Let's focus on this part. Do you need 12 excavators and three probes, please? Three probes, did you say? Yes, that's right. No problem. We'll send them out to you today. We'll send them out to you today. To you today. Okay, focus on this part. In this case, we don't pronounce the first T, right? Do you know the reason? Yeah, double T. Double T, uh, yes. In this case, we have D and T, T. You don't pronounce the D. So you say, well, mm -hmm. send them out. Them out. Well, send them out. Mm -hmm. And then you have to you today. Okay? Please pronounce, yeah. well, send them out to you today. We'll send them out to you today. And I know it's them out. Them out without the T. We'll send them out to you mm -hmm. today. We'll send them out to you today. Ah, uh -uh, incorrect. You say the now. Mm -hmm. No, it's not the now. It's like the the mau the mau. You see. Now focus we, on the well well. Send now. But what the mau? Yes, because this is them. The, the them mau, the the mau. Mau. yes and then you have to you today to you today yes now read again we'll send them out to you today uh, we'll send them out to you today now there is a problem you can pronounce the n you say the now the mau ah, yeah. yes of course because we have them here we send them out. Them mm -hmm. out. yes Let's Send now them out. them out to you today. Them out to you today. Let's go. And three probes, please. Three probes, did you say? Yes, that's right. No problem. We'll send them out to you today. We'll send them out to you today. You hear it? Mm. Or not? So, so, so. 
So so. Oh, kind of, kind of. Of course, yes. Yeah. He is big uh, fast. He is big fast. Yes, and that's true. But you have to get familiar. Send Maybe. Out. Yes, send you have. Out. Yes, send send. Well, send them out to you today. Remember that in English we have something like this. You have verbs like give. For example, I give. I give a car, or I give a car to my mom. You always use give, give to somebody. Or mm -hmm. you say, for example, I send an email send to my to sister. Something. Yes, and you send something or you give something to someone. Mm. You can also use write. I write a letter to my mom because there, there are some verbs plus something plus to plus somebody mm -hmm. in this case we have give send write and that's all there are three buy buy for example to remember the, the rules yes no more you said for example i bought a car i bought a car the other day i was talking with my patient that mm -hmm. uh, who is an american mm -hmm. and he didn't understand me when i talking and you will feel sticky you will feel you will sticky. feel but Your the mouth. person you will feel a sticky you will feel you will feel a sticky mouth your mouth your mouth like what do you want to say you feel a sticky a sticky it is like pegajoso do you want to say that yes yes, yes. Mm, he, you didn't, will... he didn't catch that <laughs> He didn't catch what you what you tried to say, right? And I, I don't know why, because sticky is sticky. I have I had to say uh like a sticker. Yeah. Oh, mm. does it mean sticky? All right. Uh. No, it's okay. You can say sticky, but maybe the, the way that you say it's like different. You can say tú le dicho, tú te sentirás como que te sentirás como boca pegajosa. No. Oh, well, I had to say your, your mouth. Of course, <laughs> your mouth will feel sticky. Now I think uh -huh. that the mouth, but you say you will feel. It's like you will feel happy. Yo me sentiré feliz. <laughs> Yo me sentiré una boca pegajosa. <laughs> it's like um, you see, you use I have the passive. To, the object. Uh, okay. <laughs> the passive voice. You see the passive because you don't focus on the subject. Focus on the object. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is what you, what you got it, got it. Now, let's continue. And this is an order, you see, uh, order the customer account. So maybe, for example, this is very old because nowadays everything on the website, on the internet, you buy online. For example, when you buy your dental instruments, do you buy it like in a physical store or you buy them online? Sometimes I, I have to, to see the, the product. I have, I to, have to, to go to the uh, physical store. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes if I know is um I know the product and I have I only I purchase online. You purchase online, of course. Remember that when you say I want to see the product, of course, you can also use the word check out because I need to check out some products in order to buy it. You see? Oh, okay. It is like for I example, I check my social media. I check my social media. You don't see your social media. You don't look your social media. I check Instagram. I check Facebook. You see? Okay, got it. But I, but check, you don't, uh, I check. Check out. You check Sounds out. Absolutely. You check out. So the mouth, before you read the passage, just talk about this question. Do we have time here? So what are some different parts of the mouth? Do you remember? Of course, you know them, but maybe in English it's a little bit difficult. Do you remember some parts of the mouth? Any ideas? Uh, parts and what do you mean? Uh, cheeks? Parts. Oh, it, oh, uh, but, okay, it could be cheeks. Oh, vestibular palatine. Yeah, vestibular palatine. Okay. Of course, <laughs> and that that's one. Another part. Yes. Just um, two. Vestibular. Mention just two. Mention just two. Vestibular palatine. On Vest the vestibular. And what is that? What is the function, the vestibular palatine? What is the function? What is the main purpose? Vestibular part uh, is together to the 
cheeks to it the is to... tissues. Uh, what do you mean when you say together? It's together. Uh, it's near. Ah, it's near next the, to. The it's next to. Uh, it's next to or besides, right? Okay. Uh, I, I couldn't say near. Yes, you can next. say near, near, near something near or the... near, uh -huh. near to something. Near to something. What is the difference? That this is like in the UK and this is in the USA. Okay. Um, okay. Near the dishes. Uh -huh. uh, like cheeks and lips. And, and the parenting part uh, is near to the tongue. It's near, 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 near the tongue, near the tongue. Of the course. Tongue so we, tongue. we have teeth, we have the lower lip, we have the upper lip, the heart palate, the uvula, the soft palate, the tonsils, and the gums. I, I'm pretty sure that gums is like in CS, right? Yes. Say, this is my gums. My gums are bleeding all the time, you say? Gum disease. <laughs> yes. But we say gums. Uh, let's continue. So here, there are several parts of the mouth. The top of the mouth is the palate. The hard palate is at the front of the soft palate is at the back, at the back, etc. The uvula, the tongue teeth, the hard palate, and soft palate reduce the size of the food, of course. This is obvious. Uh, they are essential for speech. Let's continue. I have a question. This is the uh, reading. How do you say frenillo? Fre frenillo. What is frenillo? Can you, can you say that in Spanish? Frenillo. In English, Spanish, frenillo. Is that, yeah. It's like the frenulum. Frenulum? Maybe this is frenillo. Uh, lo cuando te dicen, your son can speak very well because he has uh, yeah, the yeah. frenulum. Yeah, we say Ajay. frenulum. Okay. Frenum or frenulum? Let me write it here. Frenulum. Frenulum. Like this. Friendlum. Uh, it, it is. It is this, right? Yes, yes. And this is the yes, friendlum. One, friend one of them. One of them, because maybe there are several of them, right? Yes. Okay. So friend according, friendlum, of course, friendlum. Please, the mouth chapter one. Please read. I want to check your pronunciation. Maybe you are like kind of rusty. Read it. Uh, okay. The mouth is important for speech and breathing. It is also necessary for eating and digestion. Mm -hmm. Digestion. The mouth includes soft tissues, uh, such as the tongue, soft palate, 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 and gums. Uh -huh. Palate uh, and gums. You know, uh, it also contains hard structures including the teeth and heart palate, palate and jaw bones, Stru structures outside the oral cavity include the upper lip and the lower lip. This close the oral cavity when they rest together. At the back of the mouth is the uvula. It mm -hmm. hangs from the soft palate. The uvula uh, prevents food or liquid uh, from passing into the nest, nasa, nasa cavity and the tonsils lie on a, either side of the mouth beyond the palatoglossal arch. arch. They are part of the arch. They are part of the immune system. Uh, of part, we we'll say digestion. Digestion. Okay, it's, it's a soft palate. Let me mention something that is very interesting. You know that the plural form, for example, what is the plural when, when the word end in SS or S, Z, C, H, S, H, and X. Do you remember when we want to make the plural? For example, we have like watch. What is the plural form? Do you remember? Do you remember? What? Watches, right? Or you have fox. Fox. And then you say foxes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is the plural form of the word stomach? Stomach. You see, with ES, right? Yes. Incorrect. You just stomachs. Why? Stomach. When, when the CH sounds like K, you add S. Mm -hmm. You see? There is a word that you mentioned here that 
that pops into my head. We say stomachs, stomachs, okay? Do you know what is lion? 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 Lion is like, for example, in English, there is a verb which is lie. You know, lie means mentir, but it, all, but it also means eh, reposar, recostar. Okay? Mm -hmm. Lie. Lie. What, what, lie. And you, you, you can change. Lie sobre. Reposa sobre. But remember that what is the past form of lie? Past form? Yes, lay. the past form. Lay. And what is the past form of lay? Lay. <sighs> Lane. Okay? So it's like recos, recostarse. But then we have another, another verb, lay. The past of lay? Late and the participle, late. late. Late means colocar. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't don't confuse because lay here is the past, but lay here is the present. Uh, it was mm -hmm. like, like, you get it? Yes, what is those tonsils? Tonsil. Well, I would say like tonsil. Tonsil. Like, uh, for example, when I got, a, when I have a call, I have some problems with my tonsils. A, amic, las amígdalas. Yeah, the tonsils, tonsils, tonsils. Yes, amígdalas. Of course. Okay, so uh, tell me. No, I. Ah, ah, well, that pops into my head because I have this word. We say arch or arc. What do you think? You said arc. Arc? What do you think? I said arc, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I said arc. <laughs> yeah, but it depends. It depends on pronunciation when it refers to, in this case, it refers to the mouth because it's not the mm -hmm. first to the, to the arrow and the arc. You see? Mm -hmm. So yes. we can like change pronunciation. So we can arch. say, you can say arch when it refers to the mouth. Arch. Okay. Arch. So according to the pronunciation, you say arch or arcs. What do you think? Sorry, arcs or arches? You say? Uh, arch. Arches. Say arch, arches. 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 Okay, let's finish these three examples. So let's finish. One second, please. What is the main purpose of the excerpt? Excerpt. The extra, um... The passage? Yes, el, uh, yes, el pasaje, okay. yes, excerpt, yes. excerpt. Mm -hmm. To compare, to explain, to describe, to explain. Mm -hmm. This is the expert, this is the excerpt. The mouth, chapter one. Mm -hmm. Describe different parts of the mouth. Yeah, it describes different parts of the mouth. Which is which of the following is not a soft structure? Soft, blandito, soft structure. Yeah. The tongue. The which jaw. one? The jaw. The jaw. The jaw. Where are the tonsils? Uh, lion. Uh, Hanging, the... colgando, the soft palate outside the oral cavity attached to the gums. That's impossible, right? And behind no, the palate. Arch. Let's check the answers. C B D. C B D. Okay, we're done with our class. Do you have any questions before we finish our lesson? No, no right? No. Let I me have to practice something my presentation. Yes, you have to I practice. Rem pre and, and remember all the the passive. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, I just need to. I just need to check this part that you mentioned before about the about the uh, proof, the excavator, because I want to make sure that they are very old, very old tools, right? Dental tools. No, it's not all. Um, the old is the function. The function, yeah. the functionality. Yeah, it's yes, not I useful. Uh, no anymore. No anymore. So the, maybe the function is different, right? And for example, yeah. I just I just knew that it is like a single ended, but you mentioned that you have one that is double ended. So this is like very shocking for me because I was like teaching that we have proof single ended. 
No, no, we have no. them. The majority you... is double ended. Ah, of course. Of course. Okay. So let me fix that and then I will send more information about that. Okay. Nice. Okay. okay. So that would be all. Do you have any questions before we leave our class? No, uh, only the syringe is just for dental. No, no, no. Syringe, oh, yeah. it means it means jeringa. It could be the syringe when you go to the doctor, when you go to the hospital, you have syringe. This is a needle. Uh, but syringe is um when uh, we are talking about uh, the med metal. When metal you are talking. Or I, can, I can say the, the reduce, no? No, I would well, say syringe. Syringe is like, for example, there is there is a procedure that we, that we call intravenosa for example you see mm -hmm. yes when when they when they uh like push the liquid they use a syringe ellos mm -hmm. le llaman por ejemplo cuando te eh, eh, te ponen por la uh, vena te, te inyectan se llama they, syringe ellos le llaman jeringa syringe. tell me the container uh, it, it could be it could be but i i know that solamente la jeringa es cuando vas a inyectar algo it puede ser in todos los aspectos. You see? Jeringa mm -hmm. para inyectar. I didn't know that, that word. Ah, I... syringe. Which one do you use? I... Needle. Mm, needle. Is needle. Needle is, needle is la aguja. Este es el needle. Pero yeah, la syringe. Yeah, no, no. Ah, of course. Yes, that I, one. I don't know. Uh, the words came out. <laughs> Ah, the uh, ah, of course. Use it. Now. Ah, of course. But you can send me a message because you know I try to improve my classes every day. So, for example, okay. I I need to focus on on this. I need to check this, and and maybe you can send the word and I can add it to my class, and I will say, okay. oh, that's true, right? I need to I need to like look into what is look into. Check out. Investigar. I need to look into the information. Oh, yeah. I need to check out. Revisar. Okay. I need to go over. Volver a revisar the content of my lesson. Okay. So, okay. okay so that would be all for now. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Thanks.